Hi everyone, today we're gonna to go ahead and solve this division problem using something called the 10 black model. But first and foremost, we're gonna go ahead and solve this problem the way that you and I would normally solve this problem. So first and foremost, we know that four goes into five only one time. Four times one gives us four, we subtract, it leaves us with one, we bring down the three. So now, four goes into 13, we know that four times three gives us 12, which is as high as then we can go, which is gonna leave us with one, we bring down this two, we're left with 12. And as we just learned, four times three gives us 12, we know again, four times three would be the best for this with a remainder zero. So the answer is 133. Now I'm gonna go ahead and solve this using, as I said earlier, the 10 black model. Let's see if I can keep this in play because I have a lot to write. Now, first and foremost, before we jump in, let me go ahead and explain the blacks to you. Otherwise, you're gonna be fairly lost. So this, a black equals 100. A line equals 10. And either a dot or a square, I've seen both, is going to equal one unit. So we have 100, black, the black equals 100 units, the line equals 10 units, a dot or a square equals one unit. Now, now that you know that, let's go ahead and draw this out. So we're gonna draw 532 in black format. So 500 is going to be obviously five blacks. 30 is going to be three lines. And then we've got two units left over. So we'll make those little squares. So this right here represents 532. Now we're gonna divide that by four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put four circles down here at the bottom. Let's see here, see if I can. Two, three, four. Hopefully I got enough room on here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started now. We are gonna take each one of these blocks and divide them up into these four circles right here. Put one block here, one block there, there. And we have one 100 block unit left over. So we're gonna go ahead and we know that there's one block in each one of these squares. So we're gonna put that one right up here, four times one, gives us four. We've got one left over, which is that 100 black right there. Now I can't work with this 100 black, so we're gonna convert it now. So we're gonna take this 100 black and we're gonna make it 10 lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So we've got 10 lines plus the three lines. So we've got 13 which is where we've got this number right here, 13. So we know we're still on the right track. Now, we're gonna divide these lines and put them equally up into these four circles down here. So let's just start off with two because we know we have enough to put two in each of them. So we got two here, two there, two there, two there. Now we still have enough left over to go ahead and put one in each of these circles. So let's see, here we go. One there, one there, one there, one there. So we have one 10 unit line left over. But we notice we have three 10 unit lines in each one of these circles. So we're gonna go ahead and put that three right up here at the top. Hopefully this writes a little better. We know four times three gives us 12, which gives you one remainder, which shockingly enough, we have one tens left over. So we're gonna do the same thing with this tens as we did over here with this 100 black. We're gonna take it, because we can't work with it this way, and we're gonna convert it over to units. So we're gonna make 10 squares now to represent this 10, this 10 line. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So now we've got our 10 blacks here, and we're gonna bring down this two which look at right here, we've got 12 boxes left over, shockingly enough. So we've got 12 right here. Hopefully you can read all this, I got it squished in, I apologize. So now we're gonna go ahead and divide these units up, up amongst these four circles. 
So let's go ahead and start with, we'll start with three. Two, three. One, two, three. Let's make these boxes a little bigger so you can tell they're hundreds. You can even color them in to make, show, make sure a difference for the teacher. I'm gonna do one, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So now we go ahead and divide them all up. There's nothing left over here with the one units, but we do, looks like, have three one units in each of these four squared, four circles. So we're gonna write that three up here. We know four times three gives us 12, which lives, leaves us without a remainder, which also the blocks told us over here, there was going to be no remainder. So our answer, as we got earlier with the way that you and I know how to do it, is 133.